Hey guys, and welcome to another Factorio Mod Spotlight. I'm Exterminator, and thank you for joining me. Today we are going over the Electric Train Mod. And uh, this one has been out for quite a long time, and I've had some people ask me to do it, and I'm finally getting around to it. So, as you can probably guess, this adds some electric trains, or more specifically locomotives, to the game, as well as some additional cargo wagons and fluid wagons. Uh, now, there are two different researches. There is the automated automated rail transportation which is unlock stations and then there is an actual electric trains research and mark two II and three uh, so you have three levels of the locomotives uh, the first research unlocks the first one as well as the power provider and then the second one unlocks second and the third one unlocks the third okay so here are the locomotives we have a normal one so that's just base game um, then we have e-locomotive and it takes 10 batteries, 20 engines, and obviously a locomotive. Uh, it has a thousand health, same as this. Um, and same energy consumption, of course, is going to be taking electricity, though, rather than burning fuel for the power. Uh, and then the Mark II takes the previous version, as well as some engines, advanced circuits, and batteries, and it takes 900 kilowatts of power. Uh, and then the E-Locomotive Mark III, again, previous version, plus processing units and batteries. So it's not cheap. Uh, and it takes 1.2 megawatts of power consumption. And then in addition, this adds a Mark II and Mark III cargo wagon. Mark II adds 60 storage slots. This adds 80. This is 37k storage volume, which is a little bit of an odd number. Um, but then this one is 50k storage volume. So like the Mark III, I mean, you can just look if you want. Just tons of cargo slots here. Um, you know, they are a bit more expensive to build-ish. Not really, though, actually. Well, it does take the previous, so a little bit. Um, but I'm sure you guys want to see this. So how does this work? Well, this thing, the e-locomotive e power provider, as far as I can tell, um, in reading the mod portal and testing, you can place this literally anywhere you want. Um, it doesn't have to be like on the track. It, as long as it's powered and somewhere in your base, then it should be fine. You can see, obviously, the track isn't even being powered. There's no electric track. Um, and I think you only need one. As far as I can tell, one will provide what you need. Uh, but do keep in mind before you think that this is like overpowered each locomotive takes this power consumption at full speed um, so like these mark threes if you're running you know tons of trains on this each single locomotive running at full speed is going to be taking 1.2 megawatts of power um, and these things are quick uh, so these things are super quick the mark three so I'm gonna open the power graph here and you will see, if we go into fuel, you can see it's fuel bar. You will see the power go up as we drive. And we're about to hit max speed, and we're at 1.2 kilowatts, and we're going to crash because there's a cliff in the way. But you can see that, that we did hit that. And if you do two, then it will be like 2.2 .2 or 2.1, 2.4, whatever um, amount. Uh, and this thing, like I said, is insanely fast. Uh, now, obviously, if I add some things to it, like maybe some of these guys... Uh, it would obviously be slower because that's how the trains work, um, at least the acceleration. Uh, so again, this is a Mark III, as you can imagine. Uh, the Mark I would be having even more trouble with this. Uh, but yeah, these are super fast. You can check the mod portal if you want for the exact speeds. Um, I mean, I can just read them off, but uh, basically top speed of E-Locomotive 3 is 518 kilometers an hour. Mark II is 388 an hour, and the first one is 259 uh, an hour so there we go and that that's pretty much it it's super simple like I said as far as I can tell you can place this literally anywhere you want as long as it's on your map um, and you only need one I think there doesn't seem to be a max energy output uh, but like I said do keep in mind that you know if you have if you're just doing a ton of trains with this and you want your top tier locomotive it is going to take a lot of power um, so do keep that in mind but anyway guys that's going to do it uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely, if you're looking into, like, if you want some different variety in trains and wanted electric trains, this is definitely a good mod to check out. Um, it's a lot less tedious than some of the other ones that, like, require you to put stuff like every X tiles or whatever on the track to make it work. Um, so, yeah, there you go. Link below to the mod portal where you can check it out and a little more information. And until next time, I look forward to seeing you all, and do take care.